picture then. You should take a picture. I thought it was just doing pictures, but I guess not. you don't see every day. There's two gopher tortoises that are fighting. Let's see if I can get a little closer without messing them up. I'm wondering if the winner is the one that puts the other one on his back. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. Well, we're riding a section of the Van Fleet Trail today, and the trail is about 30 miles long in total. Uh, the last time we rode it, we took the center section and rode 10 miles up and 10 miles back. Today we're taking the southern portion from Polk City up to probably Green Pond Road. And that's going to be another 10 mile section, so 20 miles round trip. So far today we've seen turkey, red-tailed hawk, squirrels, snakes, gopher tortoises, and no telling what other type of wildlife we'll see, including a lot of cows, horses, and even a miniature horse. And I think we saw it was either a llama or an alpaca at one of the farms. Yep, red tail hawk sitting on a limb, just like the song says. So, we're out enjoying the day. It's a beautiful sunny March day. And so we're just enjoying the trail. We don't try to kill ourselves on the trail. We just ride nice and easy, make it a, a leisurely pace. destination uh, but we're going to turn around and head back to where we started from. Uh, this end of the trail is called what is it, it was the Green Pond Trail. Green. I know it was green something but anyway. So um, ahead of us is the trail that we um, 
did last year, the, the 10 miles. And at the end of that trail, there's a little picnic area. And it's really nice. So, but we're gonna turn around and head back and uh, see you down the trail. portion of the Florida Trail is the general uh, James Van Fleet Trail. Uh, total trail is about 30 miles long. It goes from Polk City up to just west of Groveland on Highway 50. And there's also a portion of the Van Fleet Trail, a spur that comes down close to Auburndale, and then another short run that goes from Lakeland to Bartow. So the uh, Green Pond Trail portion is what we're going to bike today. It's uh, about um, 10 miles, uh, be 20 miles round trip. And in the middle, we're going to stop and do a picnic lunch. It's a little bit cloudy out today, but hopefully the rain will stay away uh, until we get back home later on this afternoon. Hey y'all, this is the second of two bridges that we've stopped along again. Three. Again, it's a, just a swampy area, but apparently there are some alligators in here like that one so i don't know it looks like there's been signs of alligators here here we are back at bridge number three on the way back is actually number one on the trailhead and uh, we didn't realize this creek was flowing like it is all the rain that we've had lately, I don't doubt it. Two and a half miles to go. And then we'll be done. I love the sound of a babbling brook. Or in this case, maybe I should say swamp. We are out on a bike ride today on the Van Fleet Trail. This part of it is in Lake County. And Paul, will you tell us about what else we're doing here? Yeah, well, we're taking the third and our final trip on the Van Fleet Trail. The whole trail is about 30 miles long. It's 29 miles from Polk City to just outside of Groveland, Florida. And we're on the, the furthest north section of the trail. So today's ride is going to be about 10 miles up and 10 miles back. Yeah, so 20 mile bike ride. Um, we've been down that direction, but that's in the sun. But now, uh, and we, when we came back last time, we ate here at the picnic area. We had lunch and we went back down the other way. But we're headed out that direction this time. There's a couple of the residents along the trail. Our style of biking when we're out is much more recreational than road biking, typical road biking. So we have a lot of people that will pass us as we're, as we're riding because we just kind of take our time. We're out here to see the sights, to en enjoy nature, see what kind of animals and wildlife we can see, and just kind of take our time and as our na name is, go with the flow.
For those of you who don't live in Florida very much and don't have these kind of uh, pesky things here very much, we have what we call fire ants. And when they bite you, you definitely know because it feels like fire. And especially out in the woodsy area, sometimes you may come across a big sand pile that looks like that. And that might be a huge fire ant bed. Now if you step in that, it'll obviously give way and lots of ants will be coming out and <laughs> they'll be after you. So I'm just going to show you with a little stick here what happens when I just rake through it. And you can see Make sure there's not be in your stick. Okay. all these ants coming out and they spread out in all directions and they find the perpetrator who has attacked their nest and they definitely go after you. And these ants, they will make blisters on your skin after they bite you. So when you're out in the woods and you come across this big pile of sand, just uh, go around it. Look, no hands. I don't think my bike's that stable. I know I'm not. He's up there somewhere. Some of those are cypress trees in there, or most of them are. You know what I thought it would be a little while ago? If, uh, if you had solar on your RV, of course it might help if you had solar that was movable. But you get hooked up with the state park system as, <coughs> as a trail on park your RV out here somewhere. <coughs> a trail monitor? Yeah, it helps take care of the trail. And... Yeah, okay. Be an emergency contact. You know, about halfway down somewhere. You have to find a wider spot than this. You know, park, 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 park. Yeah, I'd have to park your RV practically on the road for in order for it to be level. Yeah. I would park over there and put the awning out over like the edge of the road would be bad, right? You can serve coffee in the mornings to the bicyclers that pass by or the right. joggers. Coffee and donuts. <laughs> <laughs> but it'd get pretty spooky at night though mm -hmm. and it would be pitch black be hearing all kinds of swamp noises <laughs> might hear a boogeyman Sasquatch. I'll sass your squatch. <laughs> I thought this area was pretty when we came across it the first time. Yep. Yep. Okay, stop right up here. 
and put your front wheel in one county and your back wheel in the other. the only picnic table yep. we haven't ridden to the end of the trail yet honey Mabel trailhead is on highway 50 between Mabel and um, Groveland Florida right on 50 which is near Claremont kind of get an idea of where we are here in the center of the state. And we've actually been in three different counties today. Polk County, the trail starts down there and it ends here in Sumter County. And we passed through Lake County in, in between. Yeah. <laughs> On the map, you can see where we are. We are right here. Um, as we said, this trail ends in Mabel and Linden. And uh, Mabel and Linden is situated at the northern terminus of the James Van Fleet Trail. It was the, uh, the, the community was established in 1894, and it was named for the daughter of the founding postmaster, J.P. Phelps. And I guess Mabel may have been his daughter's name, I don't know. Um, the town was known for its production of bean hampers or wooden fruit baskets and a lot of other wood products. They also had uh, lumber was a big thing here, and near the end of the, Simbol, the Seminole War, it was one of Sumter County's earliest communities. So that's a little bit about Mabel. So, are you ready to go eat lunch, honey? I'm ready to go eat lunch. Let's go to the picnic table. <laughs> 